What is up, Diecast Race fans, and welcome to the opening round of the Racing Champions Cup Series here at Bay City Speedway. My name is Daryl, and I'll be your host. We qualified 46 cars and kept the top 16 fastest drivers for this incredible journey across the United States. From here at Bay City, these cars will travel to Southern California to the Amigos DRC, then off to Virginia to Commotion Diecast, and finally, to Low Country Diecast Racing in South Carolina. Today we'll have the first two of four first round heats. We will take the top two drivers of each heat with the winner receiving one point and second place will get a pat on the rear bumper. Well, let's get right to it and meet our drivers for heat one of the Racing Champions Cup Series. First up, our number one seed. Driving in the number 13 car, sponsored by NASCAR Cafe. For a Commotion Diecast, it's Biff Kirby. Qualifying fifth, also from Commotion Diecast. Driving in the number 21 Mr. Pip car, it's Davis Jenkins Jr. Your nine seat in the number six car, sponsored by Red Devil Enamels. Driving for Vapor Racing Treetops Raceway Park, it's Sneaky Bob. And finally the 13 seat. In the 77X car, driving for Golden Owl Tattoo, it's the Gray Wizard. Up top, here we go. Biff and Davis in the front row, Sneaky Bob and Gray Wizard in the back. Gate drops and they're off. Dead even into the new dual lane 165. Biff Kirby shoots out front. We may have lost Wizard there. Davis keeping pace, but Biff Kirby out here doing one seed things as he will take lap one, followed by Davis Jenkins Jr. and Sneaky Bob will pick up some points. Back up top lap two. We'll rotate the drivers one space clockwise, putting Davis Jenkins Jr. on the pole position next to Gray Wizard. Down the Golden State Bridge, packed tight around one. Jenkins grabs the lead, and Wizard goes off in front of the painted ladies. Jenkins pulling away. Down around seven, and here comes Bob, but Davis Jenkins Jr. will claim lap two, followed by Sneaky Bob and Biff Kirby. Lap three, Wizard and Bob up front, Jenkins Jr. and Kirby in the rear. Wizard looking to get off the schneid here and onto the scoreboard. Gray Wizard first out of the 165 and he gets loose. Bob and Kirby go right on by in the inside and Bob goes around. And that'll start a whole cluster as all four cars come to a stop down by the Bay City Fire Department. Thank you for your service. Let's get him back up top and do this again. Looks like we got a mullet going on up here. Business in front with Wizard and Bob. Party in the back with the commotion boy. Gate drops and something happened to Kirby. Wizard will lead him down around turn one and down in front of the painted ladies. And there's a battle for second. No sign of Kirby. And Gray Wizard grabs lap three with Jenkins Jr. and Sneaky Bob right behind. And Kirby out of nowhere will take four. Final lap four. Remember, the top two move on, so this is still anyone's race. Sneaky Bob on the pole, and let's hope Biff Kirby is okay. Sneaky Bob will lead him out of one, and Bob gets up on the wall and forces Gray Wizard off. Kirby jumps out in the lead, and Jenkins is giving chase. And Biff Kirby will take the final lap, followed by Davis Jenkins Jr. and Sneaky Bob in reverse. Rough outing for the Gray Wizard. And there they are, Davis Jenkins Jr. will grab the Heat 1 win and pick up a point. Biff Kirby will also move on, but with just an attaboy. So, attaboy, Biff. Thanks so much to Sneaky Bob and the Gray Wizard for your time at Bay City, and best of luck the rest of the Cup Series. And now let's meet our drivers for Heat 2, the number two seed, driving in the number 29 WCW wrestling car for 843 Racing, it's Remy 12 Gauge. Your number six seed, in the Lowe's.com number 31 car, driving for Commotion Diecast, it's Cole Trickle. Next up in the City Chevrolet number 46 car named Green Jean, the 10 seed from Team DRT3K, it's Sam Hall. And finally, the 14 seed in the number 22 self sponsored car from Cash Money Boys, it's Elliot Asher. E2 lap one, here we go. 
Remy 12 gauge and Cole Trickle in the front, Sam Hall and Elliot Asher in the rear. They're off and something's wrong with Remy as Trickle and Asher take off alone. Sam Hall stuck behind Remy. Past the painted ladies across the cliffside, down turn seven and Cole Trickle will lead wire to wire to take lap one, followed by Elliot Asher. And better late than never as Sam Hall somehow gets around Remy, will take third. Lap two, Cole Trickle will slide over and welcome Elliot Asher to the front. Remy 12 gauge in the rear, and we did confirm that the front axle has come loose and the tires are rubbing on the fence. Cole Trickle with that inside line will grab the early lead, and Asher and Hall are door to door. Asher grabs second in front of the ladies, and as non exciting as possible, Cole Trickle will again lead green to checkered, followed by Elliot Asher with Sam Hall as his license plate frame. Lap three, the battle for second takes its place in the front row. Cole Trickle in the rear next to Remy hopes to keep in a battle for second. There they go. Into the duel 165, Asher comes out in front and Trickle slides into second. Down in turn six, they're bumper to bumper. Around turn seven, and here comes Trickle. Cole Trickle will win lap three at the line with Asher and Hall trickling in behind. And this just makes me sad. Final lap four, Cole Trickle has this heat wrapped up, and that's a good thing because he's behind Remy. The battle for second with Sam Hall and Elliot Asher has the inside lane. Sam Hall will lead him around two, down past the painted ladies, across the cliffside, still no sign of Cole Trickle, as Sam Hall will do his part to grab the final lap, followed by Elliot Asher, who moves on, and Cole Trickle will cross to wrap up heat two. And there they are. Cole Trickle will grab a point, and by one single point, Elliot Asher will move on as well with a whole collection of second place finishes. Always the bridesmaid. Thanks so much to Sam Hall and Remy 12 Gauge for their time at Bay City. Hopefully we can get Remy repaired before the next leg. Coming up in the next video, we'll have Heat 3, which will include Flip, Johnny Blue, Mopar Mac, and Hans Bubba Gruber, as well as Heat 4 featuring Lily the Dog, Thomas Filippiak, Deuce, and Jessica. Remember all 16 of these qualifying cars will travel after this first leg to the Amigos DCR, then off to Commotion Diecast, and finally do a few tracks at Low Country Diecast Racing League. So please subscribe to all these channels so you don't miss any of the upcoming action. Links in the description. Thanks so much for joining us. This has been a presentation of Bay City Diecast Racing. My name is Daryl, and I've been your host. We'll see you again soon, everybody. Sir,